What's your name again? Nathan Gomez. Nathan. So I suck with names. I, I'm sorry if I ask you. That's okay. No, I I remember your name because I remember that Paul Simon song. Sometimes when you spray the fixative, it um, loses a bit of that radiance. How do you feel about uh, being captured or being vulnerable? Do you have problems with that? Um, that's kind of like where I thrive, you know? I thrive on that. Um, I like to expose my fear and confront it and like Salvador Dali says, you know, paint your dreams and live your nightmare or something, you know, because there's beauty in everything and it's kind of my job is to just point that out, like, I love Salvador Dali because he, he was like that way, he confronted everything that he feared, like he would paint swarms of ants, big grasshoppers. And like nobody understood why, but really he was just deathly scared of that stuff. So in a way, it's kind of like confronting your worst nightmares as a means of just getting it over with, and moving on with your life, you know. So this was like one of the first videos. So I painted like five murals, you know, with the way I do it. So this was the like the Toy Story mural, you know. So I was kind of just I told my cousin to write down a list, you know, of all her favorite Pixar things. But a lot of these were just commissions, like after I um, got out of art college and I needed to pay my rent. So I was just paint grabbing, you know, people I, that I worked with and just like different odd jobs. Oh, paint my dog, you know? Sure, you know, and then. I worked for a university and I worked at a restaurant, so it was like easy to find people that wanted to just hire me to do painting. You know, once I did one dog, then it was like everybody wanted their dogs and just kind of like snowballed from there. And then that one was another one that I carried with me when I moved back. So like I lived in Orange County for a couple of years and then I moved back because I just needed to be with my family and they needed me. But I was still painting, so I was carrying all these like paintings with me trying to finish them along the way and then of course that didn't keep quiet for too long more people wanted more paintings I don't like to tend to think like oh I paint only people's animals like you know I can do human portraits as well I think it's really important that when we do these marches that everyone's included that you know non-binary trans like women's marches are for everybody um, and it's been too long that we, you know, us marginalized communities are left out of these marches as if we never existed. But we did exist, we still exist, and we're going to stay existing. So this isn't going anywhere. Like, we need to all continue to fight for our rights to exist. about like what kind of artist I wasn't when I went out to LA and that helped me a lot like basically I, I didn't want to just be like another wrist you know within a I'm gonna have to go away. within the company like you know they hire a lot of guys to do that kind of stuff what stuff um, just draw what they're told they don't write the scripts they draw other people's scripts, and I, that for me was like an insult, you know? I'm like, what? I'm gonna write my own stuff, I'm gonna draw my own stuff, make my own stuff. So, to think of me not like doing everything is kind of like sacrilege. Yes? What are you painting Oh, we're just painting a mural, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can take pictures it's right along the side there. Everyone. Well, I like you are. So you've been doing all this by yourself or somebody else yeah. here too? 
No, no I still. see a white boy. She helped me. Cool, that's really I did this like just as a rough draft. Yeah. Oh, stuff in the ashes. You know what? You know what? We should be uh, nice. So maybe you as was. Yeah. You would put that uh, like thanks for all the um, heroes. Like yeah, dudes. yeah. That's and that's then, that's uh, what the people are uh, on the on the end here. That's just what happened. We never think about the guys that they sweep the fucking downtown and oh, the, yeah, the guys yeah. that they call and poker wash. Yeah, we yeah. gotta put there uh, thank you for the series of Tabasa to keep all this clean oh, because yeah. we always forgot, you know, we always yeah. remember the firemen, the police. Yeah, but not just the only ones that were the workers. Yeah. They, they were like workers, so. Uh, clean up this place. And all know, the landscaping, I mean, look at this. They changed this whole thing. Mm -hmm. todo, todo se mire perfecto. Que, um, que las comunidades, comunidades tengan apoyo para todo. Y a um, que miremos unos por otros. Sí. Tal vez algunas personas a veces no tienen lo suficiente para que se la estén pasando bien, especialmente en las fiestas que vienen ahora. Hay muchas personas que económicamente no está bien y si nosotros tenemos algo de sobra, sería es muy bueno que compartamos con nuestro tiempo. Especialmente con a, las personas los indigentes. Sí. Es bonito a. Me gustaría ver aquí el centro de tiempo y sin indigentes. Y si hay indigentes, que tuviéramos un lugar aquí donde los podemos llevar para que coman, para que se bañen. Sí. If you if you could say something like how how does this painting makes you feel when you look at it? How does the painting make me feel? Yeah, just raw like whatever answer is fine. Um, I like the wingspan. If you think about it, if we if we were able to fly, our wingspan would have to be huge. <laughs> Cause think about it, like you know how angels and paintings have like you know small little wings like this. Yeah. Our wingspan would have to be like immense. I think like for a human, it would probably be like two of those, of like the, the, the whole desk. Oh, like, guns of yeah, right. guns of oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember then, you, man. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I, don't, I forgot your name. I'm terrible with names. Uh, Eric. Nice to meet you. Oh, you know what would be real awesome? Hmm. Too strong. Oh, yeah. I love Tupac. Uh, this is what Tupac wrote. To all my comrades and every borough of every city of every state thanks to the ghetto stars and featuring the kings and queens one love to death, death row interscope uh, moms and the whole fam zing many my jewel to come and to my unborn kids yeah. only God can be judge me yeah that was one of my uh, thanks to all the homies in Clinton who kept it real. You know who you are. Yeah, that was like Clinton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. 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 Look what happens there. Look what happens there. You put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. You put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. You know, like the beauty of things. I think it's just the way I've always seen the world. I've seen it differently, and I can appreciate things that people might say aren't beautiful. You know, like I could, I could, I can look at the world and just find something beautiful in it, or find a hidden meaning for myself. Got them as circles in the next little flower. In the oh, nice, yeah. nice. It's like one in the middle, and then like six on the outside. Nice. That makes a great pattern, isn't it? Yes. Yes, and you can put that in the middle. Yeah, and I've been reading about it. It's like really sacred stuff. It's like, huh. it's like in our DNA. Is it something? It's something. Oh.
like a turbative heart. What? I said a turbative heart. So my father's, my dad's dad, Vicente from Jalisco, used to say, agarre la orilla. And that means grab an edge in life. Doesn't matter where, you know, doesn't matter when or how, just agarre la orilla, you know, grab an edge and work at it. And uh, you'll make it eventually with groups or whatever. You'll get where you're going if you just grab an edge. So that's what I'm saying. That's what's got me here. I mean, you know, it's, I've always said, like, oh, I'm going to have to paint my way out of this one, you know, I'm going to draw my way out of this one. And it's true. It's like, the more I do these things, all of a sudden good things start happening or things come true that I normally wouldn't think were even possible. But, you know, if you grab an edge, anything's possible. I like, I, like you know, I always said, like, like, if you're doing a concert, or if you're playing music, or if you're getting on that stage and you got to pick up a microphone and tell some jokes, People can sense that vibe, you know, they can sense that false or real vibration. And if you're not feeling it and you get up there, you're gonna bomb, you know, but if you're feeling it in there and you just have that glow and you can just nail those punchlines or whatever, then yeah, you know. I mean, you need a lot more than just that because you're not gonna just get up there and nail it if you feel good. You have to rehearse, you have to practice, you have to listen to your own voice, you have to edit your own voice, you know, you know about that. So yeah. it's just like that with this. I've been drawing and painting and I just, I don't know, I don't get shy when people look at me or ask me about my painting. I'm just used to it. I kind of just tune them out, you know, and just... And you like it, right? I do. Uh, sometimes I don't. It depends. It depends on if the, if the painting's going good. If the painting's going good, I'll talk to anybody. But if I'm struggling and I'm not mixing the colors right or a brush doesn't work the way I thought it would, then I'll, I'll be frustrated. You've seen, you can tell. But, it's just like anything. You don't come at it with a full heart. It's gonna. It, eventually, it's, it's just not gonna work. Or you need to grab another edge and just start somewhere else. Just keep getting. Just keep working. I feel like I can't fail. I can't not succeed. If if I don't paint, I'll fail. You know. If I keep painting, I'll succeed. And that's that's the confidence you have to have. And that comes with experience and time and just knowing that you know you can paint with the pictures that are in your mind and I've always said if you can imagine it I can draw it or I can paint it and that's kind of like <laughs> my selling point you know that's the kind of art that I do I don't know many people that can do what I do but that doesn't mean I'm like better than everybody it just means I'm willing to take all the jobs that other people don't want to do <laughs> Catch me up and I don't blow up cause I like to give up so quick and I'm just so easy and I'm just so scared cause I'm just so easy, easy. and I like to be a peasy headed boy in a peas in a pod and I like to be two in one cause I do not my head when I don't know where my body is cause my soul is just flying and I just be You know, you can make mistakes, you can fuck around, but, the, oops, sorry my French, but like the main part is knowing how to clean it up, you know, knowing how to edit your own stuff and you can, you can fix things, you know.
yourself. Don't try to be somebody else. Just be genuine and people will accept you. I think a lot of times people want to act a certain way to fit in with a group. And then they find that, you know, they're not... Like, like you know, if, I, if I'm painting something, I, I gotta stop thinking, like, looking for other people's approval and just paint, you know? It can, it can fumble up the process, you know? Like, like, you just grab your camera and just go out and shoot. Worry about the criticism later. Just do it. That's it. You can do it, you know, if you just do it. Fiend. <laughs> <laughs>